Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for update 45 of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, we have got a huge update that has taken a, uh, a full month to uh, to make happen. We've got the, uh, as mentioned in the prior devlogs, we've got the, the new locomotion method for Oculus users. Huge changes to Meat Grinder. Uh, but before we jump into those, I thought I would show the absolute latest thing, just got it working last night, that has been added, um, which is a first version of some uh, sort of worst world style bots for the arena. So I'm going to go ahead and grab myself one of my uh, one of my guns to test these. You'll notice there's two new buttons here. Um, these are Soldier bar Bot Mark 1s with slow bullets and fast bullets uh, for your choice. The slow bullets move as fast as they do in Worst World. It's about 20-25 uh, meters a second, whereas the fast bullets move as fast as yours. So... Cool, so we're going to go ahead and uh, spawn a few of these. Note, these are still using the uh, vocal callouts from Worst World, and they're still only uh, equipped with revolvers. As for this week, I was primarily test sort of stress testing, uh, giving them significantly more complex navigation to use, which we see here. Oh, we got one here. You'll notice there are three types. There are ones that have next to no armor, ones that have oh, body armor, Oh, crap. Cover. Not expecting this quite yet. Man, I am doing terribly here. There we go. I'm in the face. Armor piercing rounds. Where is it? Crap. Ah, oh, they're getting deflected. Ah, oh, that's because there's two pieces there. Crap. There we go. So, as I was saying, uh, before they all came and tried to kill me, you'll notice there are three types. There are kinds that basically just have a helmet, there are ones that have body armor as well, and there are ones that have body and face armor. And this armor basically functions as though it was like steel ballistic plate. It's very durable. Um, pistol caliber weapons are not going to chew through it, um, but hollow points on the pistol caliber weapons will do more damage to the meaty parts than uh, than sort of armor piercing rounds that will sail right through them. So it actually helps to be armed with a mix. Let's jump back down here. Uh, let's let's pick a more fun nine mil weapon here. Uh, I love to always. I love my G22s. Beautiful. Let's get that. Let's pull our ammo panel up here. Let's see, this is 40 SW tracers. Oh, got some tracers. Make it easier to see them as we're firing. Let's go up against another one. Let's uh, let's just to make it a little more relaxing. Let's give them slow bullets. So every time you hit, when you hit this button, it'll pop three to six of them randomly somewhere else in the environment. Eventually, I'll make it so that you can actually have like a go as long as you can mode or something like that. Oh, a big change too, long needed with all these is if you die in this scene and get respawned, it will despawn all the bots so that you don't get trapped back there by an angry slicer. Oh, crap. Did you hear? This is a one dog town. Wait for you. Oh. There we go. This is a one dog town. Preemptively dump that out. So, here I'm going to demonstrate how ineffective the pistol calibers oh, against their armor are. You can get up close. So, yeah. 
So if you're using 945 40 SW, aim for the meat. You got that meat here in a minute. Ah, terrible! Look right quick. Beautiful. So yeah, so that's active for you to play with. This is going to be the next place that I'm uh, sort of like testing out, building better pathfinding, better cover using logic, flanking logic, etc. for them, as this environment has a lot more complex cover to work with. So now that we've taken a look at that, let's go ahead and jump over and see the changes that have been made to Meat Grinder. So, we are over in the meat grinder starting scene. You'll notice it looks a bit different now. It's got using the restaurant tile set instead, but most importantly, we have a new configuration menu for the mode. So let's jump up a little closer here and take a look at what our options are. Well, we've got four combos to pick from. The first one is classic meat, which is basically how meat grinder functioned before, give or take. There's still some new additions to it, bigger weapon spawning pool and things like that. Um, but the sort of the core of the experience, the fact that you have a 30 minute time limit is still intact um, with the original volume of enemies. There's all-you-can-meet buffet, which ditches the timer entirely, uh, gives you more enemies, and they actually respawn up to a certain limit. And that limit is, uh, is dependent on another setting, which we'll talk about in a second. This one is really great for those of you who just want to take your time um, while still having an environment that has some persistent challenge and danger to it, no matter how long you spend in it. Um, there's build your own meat, which is the same thing as number two, except an item spawner spawns in the, uh, in the environment with you. Note, this doesn't unlock spawn locking, so you still can only carry as much as you can carry in your, in your quick slots, but you can configure yourself to your heart's desire to start out. But the rest of the difficulty of the experience is intact. And then combo number four, which is all of that, and you can't take damage. So if you're truly a scare, scaredy cat, don't want to, don't want to risk you sort of dying or risk your progress or what have you and just want to run around shooting bots in the dark uh, this is another way that you can play so let's go over to our sides here so the first one is called event AI basically meat grinder now has a sort of I would say simpler but of, of the same bend of a, of a sort of left for dead style AI director in that it's it's keeping track of how you're doing it's triggering certain sorts of events and it's based upon the mood that you pick so none literally doesn't do anything nice it sometimes drops you some some ammo other times it just sort of messes with you uh, nasty and nightmare is where it also starts to spawn other hazards and bots randomly through the experience so if meets grinders getting a little too easy for you give nasty and nightmare a try or even just pair something like nasty with starting with the item spawner and just go in armed to the teeth and see how long you can survive uh, side two and three here are what you want your light sources to be in the mode so by default this is flashlight as primary random as your secondary but you can totally sort of dial this up or down as much as you want. If you set it to flashlight and flashlight, you'll have the standard one and a weapon attached one. You could go, you know, li ju just with a lighter. Uh, if you really want to be terrified the entire time while you're doing it, just go like box of matches and, uh, and lighter so that you've got nothing but sort of limited range omnidirectional lighting. It is terrifying and it's great. And, uh, and then lastly, we have narrator talkativeness. Um, I know for some of you, I, I absolutely I adore all the narration, um, but by the time you've played the mode like 50th or 100th time, you've heard all the lines. You might just want to make it even scarier for yourself by removing uh, that commentary. So you can either do it terse, which basically just comments on sort of beginning, ending, and mission critical stuff, and silent, which is just no narrator at all. Definitely makes it feel even more sort of bleak and alone. So yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's set that to none, set that to lighter. Let's go build your own meat, just so you can see what this is like. And let's go silent. 
So, and now I'm going to, uh, I have to stop the recording because it doesn't work well through scene transitions, uh, but I'll see you in the scene in a second. So we're in the scene now. As I said before, I, I picked lighter and box of matches. So we have our, uh, our Flipso here. For those of you who don't know the controls on this, by the way, especially Oculus users, you just flip it out to open it. And on the, uh, on the Vive, you just drag your thumb down across the touchpad. And on the, uh, on the Rift, just touch your joystick, move it up, and then just pull it down. No clicking required. So we've got some ambient light there. And we've also got our, oops, those are, are bang snaps where are my matches um, they should have spawned with me here but I have a I have to fix a bug right after this just spawned me a second lighter there we go so touchpad or joystick click to open up your box of matches pull one out they are strike anywhere let's throw one so notice how we get some flickery omnidirectional light around them it's not great but as I said, if you truly want to experience a maxima, a maximum terrifying experience of the dark, this is how dark it is with just these. In fact, what I'm going to do too, I'm going to switch my locomotion over to Arm Swinger so we don't even have a teleport reticle that's dark. Oh, great. Pull out a match. Come on. There we go. Etc. So I'll go ahead and stop this here just because, uh, as you can, might see with this little light, it would be slow going. But as I said, if you want uh, if for those of you who are like, ah, the classic meat grinder mode, isn't that scary? There's too much light with that flashlight. Well, here you go. Perfect. So let's jump out of uh, VR and just talk about uh, the rest of the sort of changes uh, that are more minor, but still important that went into uh, this month's update. Yo, so we're back out of VR. We've got an incredibly long change log. So let's go ahead and dive right in, see what else is, has been changed here. So starting with, um, as with, with the stuff that obviously you've seen, if you've watched the past two videos, the super shorty break action 12 gauges in there, the M187, uh, 1879 Reich's revolver single action uh, is in there. And of course, the asynchronous loading system, which is the reason that you're getting into uh, the game much faster as of this update, uh, is in. Uh, basically, the long loading times that have caused so many people to have dead controllers when they boot up the game for the first time, that should be a solved problem. It's been on the beta branch now uh, for about a week, and everyone who has tried it, who is suffering the problem beforehand, says it has alleviated it. Obviously, if it's dead, it still might happen on a fluke if you, know, if you uh, boot up the game too quickly and Steam VR isn't finished finding controllers. Uh, if you load the game with your Steam VR overlay open, it will still likely give you dead controllers, just so you know. Uh, it's just a bug with the platform. I wish someone would fix it. So, um, in terms of other additions, so with, with Meat Grinder, as I showed you, there's there's three new modes of play. There's an AI director. You have options for primary and secondary light source, options for narrator talkativeness. Um, there are, uh, let's see here, there are, there are five new agents in the space. Um, I'm sorry, no, six new agents in the space. Um, two of which are a surprise. I have simply redacted them 
on the change log because I want to see how long it takes. They will one of them will only show up if you have your AI, AI director set to nastier nightmare. Just so you know, so you got to be playing it on a harder difficulty for it to show up. I can't wait to see who ends up uh, filming the first video of uh, of that agent arriving. So yeah, um, laser trip mines are now in the office quadrant. You have to move through it way more carefully, but you can also use them against enemies if you're clever. Um, new meat blisters in the boiler quadrant, so there's more sources of ammunition. Um, there is a, a third, a new meat room uh, called Planktastic. Uh, there's a new trap room, uh, which is called Spin Jack Party. Um, there are two new lotto rooms, take only one and roll the D6. And, uh, yeah, and a new option for bullet trails, which I think I mentioned uh, last week. Allows you to set the bullet trail decay time to 60 seconds. Cool. Uh, in terms of changes, Meat Grinder's uh, proc gen spawn table is now massive. It's like over 80, somewhere between 80 and 90 items, most of which are that, that I'm sorry, no, it's 75-ish firearms, uh, magazines for each of those, and another like 15 or 20 miscellaneous items. Uh, I adjusted all of the all of the proc gen spawning for that. Um, just items coming in and out of the uh, the space. I fixed a bunch of things with the pneumatic spike bot. He's still quite deadly, but pistol caliber rounds, when used in volume, can still can actually bring him down now. So, say you find a G22 with a 30 round mag, and you save that and you encounter one of the pneumatic spike bots, you take his meat off in the center, and you actually dump that whole mag into his core, he should die. Um, which was not the case before, it was ridiculous. Buckshot is still hilariously ineffective against him, and triple hit shells, only a bit less ineffective against him. Flechettes will wreck him, uh, in part because the flechette shotgun shells are some of the most powerful rounds in the game, um, in terms of hitting armored targets. Cool. So that, and then under under my huge fixes tab, the uh, since since the last standard release version of this game, pretty much every scene has gotten tremendously optimized. I went through by hand, cleaned up every single material, and did did the whole like, is this using more textures than it needs to? Is it reusing them from other things? Do I have the material properly configured? Is everything being as, as compressed as it should be? Um, all said and told, it brought the, the build size of the game down about 2 gigs uh, in total, and that's part and parcel why it's loading faster as well. Um, and just found a whole bunch of like little things that were set up wrong in various scenes. It's amazing what happens when you take a, a top-to-bottom pass like that when it's been a while. Um, what else? Um, I tried to make Slicer a little more efficient, which should affect any scene that he can show up in. He's still... He's always going to be a little bit heavy. It just has to do with the way that I built him. Um, it's a combination of physics and mesh and transform hierarchy. Uh, he's going to get a Mark II at some point because I really want to be able to, you know, like have like 10 of him at once just because that would be terrifying. And right now, if you have more than five, just the game dies. So I'm going to figure out why and then build a new, more optimized slicer at some point. Um... Fixed a bunch of incorrect ammo displays and item spawner displays. Uh, put the SKS magazine back to being 20 rounds because that was correct. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So that is everything. Uh, so you know, the game build download this this time is going to be big because of the way the loading system. Even those of you who've been on the beta branch. I had to change some things involving, and I might be dealing with a Steam, Steamworks uh, bug, but I changed something about a 2 gig asset bundle, and it made me re-upload the whole bundle for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, um, but hopefully this will be the last time you have to do a huge download unless I migrate between Unity versions. So, well, without further ado, I think I will uh, head off and do a couple final tweaks for the uh, build that I'm pushing tonight. A couple last tiny bug fixes. Um, but yeah, so once once you get this 45 in your hands, and just um, you know try meat grinder. Especially those of you who are like, I can't deal with the time pressure plus the dark plus you know the narrator plus the limited ammo. It's too much and it's not fun. Jump in, try one of the easier modes. Hell, try the one where you're invincible to start with to acclimate yourself to the environment and the layout of it. And then you can very slowly ramp up the difficulty if it's something you find enjoyable. Um, and 
jump into the arena tell me how fun the uh, the bots are to fight against the next update i'll probably i'll probably push this as a minor update uh before the next big formal update but i want to get for the soldier bots that are currently in the arena i want to make like a chibi version of like a spas 12 and mp5 and an m16 to arm them with so there's a little more variety in terms of uh being able to fight them so yeah so that is uh, that is about it. As always, uh, let me know if you run into any bugs, unusual behavior in the bug report section of the Steam community forums. Uh, yeah, and uh, next week I'll talk to you about the uh, the other longer initiatives that that I'm working on. But I think this is more than enough for now. So have yourselves a uh, a wonderful week. Peace.